A towing company asking for more than $40,000 to recover a semi truck after it overturned nearly a week ago. That driver. We have a tow truck mafia out in Chicago. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thank you for listening. And we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it today. This story comes out of a Chicago. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Where a tow truck company is accused of holding a truck hostage for a cool 41K. A semi driver overturned after hitting a viaduct near the intersection of 79th Street last Thursday. I was driving and I was on the right side. When I became on, on, under the bridge, it just rolled over on the ground. The tow truck driver told the driver of the truck. They said, oh, we don't give a price. We don't know how much it will be. You guys need to contact our dispatch. The semi driver told the news that he got a hold of his boss who spoke with a man from emergency towing and recovery over the phone. Because my truck was blocking both lanes of traffic, he needed my permission to upright the truck to clear the roadway. I gave him permission, but said, can you also tow it for me today when you pick it up to Elk Grove Village, Illinois? And he told me yes. And from what the boss understood is that they didn't even have tow trucks. That's what we jokingly called them a little bit was ambulance chasers. They listened to scanners and they rushed to the scene of accidents. It's not just big trucks. You want to understand this happens to people in cars too. They're just guys who runs around with police scanners to get on the scene, lock you down, and then they start calling people like official towing who was one of the tow trucks that actually showed up to the scene the owner of the company says that he pays for tolls like this if it's an accident or stuff like that but it hasn't been more than 10k he came to the scene of an emergency got people while we're all rushing to try and clean up a mess um, and took advantage of us and now he's hijacked our equipment and he's holding it ransom for forty one thousand dollars the invoice for his driver's truck though which of course includes a four signature of his driver he said that stephen agreed to those charges which, which, which was untrue he he, uh, he gave him his license but he never signed anything um and of course here we are today came out to a whopping 41k bro 41k man they taking advantage of these drivers and companies boy to top it all off the towing company that towed the truck back to their yard not only separated the cab from the trailer but they also drained the truck of six hundred dollars worth of fuel the owner of the truck called emergency towing and recovery but nobody is returning his phone calls but when the news got involved and they tried to call the company all they got was dial tones as well but the news took it one step further and they went to the address that was listed for the business address listed 7500 southwestern and found what appeared to be an unmarked gated impound lot but no one was there to answer our questions but according to the illinois commerce of commission they have fined official tolling four times since 2021 for various offenses, including operating without a carrier registration, meaning they're not even supposed to be doing tolls for those types of accidents. Emergency towing, which was the ones that sent the 41K bill to the owner, is so new that they just registered with the Illinois Secretary of State office about two weeks ago of course the owner has filed his own complaint with the icc to try to get his truck back and time is of the essence right sooner or later that's our biggest fear is when we do resolve this they're going to come back and say you owe us another ten thousand dollars in storage fees we just don't know how it's going to play out so listen drivers you're in chicago and you get into an accident 
and the tow truck should just pop up on the scene and you didn't make that call to that tow truck company, then what you might want to do is question that particular tow truck company. Not somebody that just going to drive up in the car and then going to call their own black ops company. You need to question the tow truck company and to see how viable they are. Always, drivers, always get an estimate of the tow before they hook up the truck. Unless, of course, if it's a police required tow. And that means the police will call the tow truck company to come out there and clear the scene. And then you will have to, of course, take care of that with that tow company that was provided by the police department. But as I said before, before you allow them to tow the truck or even hook up to the vehicle, just make sure that that company is number one is viable and number two, get a written estimate of the cost before they take it away. Drivers, was you in a situation in Chicago like that? Because I know a lot of you are. Them low bearing bridges, boy, I tell you, Chicago is 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 not truck friendly, bruh. It is so many low clearance bridges out there. It's, it's more than a little bit. And I tell you, if you go off route, bruh, not only that you're going to hold up traffic, and of course you're going to get a ticket for it. Listen, listen to what I'm telling you. Do not put your trust in the GPS. All right. Especially if you got a GPS that you haven't even updated. And definitely don't put your trust in the Google navigations because Google navigations would get you effed up. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If you guys have any stories that you want to tell and you want to break it off on the Recruiter Call channel, definitely reach out to us by the Gmail. That is Lockout Man Podcast Guest at gmail.com. Uh, and too deep like Omar. Make me want to track you down and hit the track hawk with the crowbar. I knew we wouldn't go far, like we ran out of ethanol. Now your nosy ass mama want to get involved. When I met you, you was on the couch with the plastic. She need an Emmy. Bitch so dramatic. Now your baggage got me on edge like jagged. Fucking up my homes, look Patrick. You swift to jump shift like a chief. Been crying on my line like Therese. But it ain't all you, it's me. Blame it on the things I went through.